miss Sunday morning service. Worship with Melanie Antonucci. Psalms 91 with the SRC Kids. Call to prayer with Gail Fleming. Offering with Pastor Anthony Rivisto. Communications update with Faith Saruta. And Corey Mix. And your host, Darren Stott. Ladies and gentlemen, Darren Stott. for watching our Sunday morning service. Such an honor to have you watching. All right, this is going to be fun. And before we even get started here, um, everybody share. If everybody would share right now, that'd be incredible. In fact, when you share, put a little fire emoji because everybody likes to start fires, right, Pastor Anthony? All the time. That's All right. Time. So, <laughs> hey, let's, let's start some fires right here, right now. Everybody share. That would be incredible. Share and add the emoji. And of course, if, you, if you're enjoying these Sunday morning services, and we hope that you are, make sure that you like uh, this video, that would be that would be great as well. Um, Pastor Anthony, another wild week. This has been this has just been a crazy, a crazy, crazy week. Incredible. In fact, uh, just this last week in the state of California, they filled a skate park full of sand so that skaters couldn't skate in the skate park. Did you hear about this, Pastor <laughs> Anthony? Wow. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Now that that may sound extreme. But actually, it even got more extreme. In fact, they have commissioned two Jawas from the planet Tatooine to also guard the skate park. <laughs> Jawas. Jawas. Jawas are terrifying. Sometimes I have dreams that Jawas are coming out at night trying to take my electronics. <laughs> A study out of Hong Kong just came out this last week reporting that China's uh, number of infections were probably about four times higher than originally reported. Did you hear about this, Pastor Anthony? No, I, I don't think so. Yeah, four times higher, which according to my calculations, that brings the number to about 800 people. <laughs> Just this last week, it was reported that Sweden, who actually resisted lockdown and quarantines in its capital of Stockholm, has reported that they are going to reach herd immunity in a, just a couple of weeks. Did you hear about this, Pastor Anthony? <laughs> herd immunity? <laughs> That's not a bad idea. <laughs> 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 Just this last week, it was reported that Ohio's bald eagle population is soaring. Did you hear about this, Pastor Anthony? No. Yeah, it's true. Also soaring in Ohio is the population of bald people. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Well, some good news. Yeah, some good news. This last week, it was announced as part of President Trump's phase one that gyms, that, yep, that gyms are going to be some of the first establishments to reopen. Do you hear about this, Pastor Anthony? I think so. Yeah, you're, you're quite a lifter, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> now, there, there is some concern regarding uh, uh, too many people invading the gyms. And so to slow things down a little bit, they're only going to allow loud lifters to come back to the gym first. It's <laughs> a good idea. <laughs> Best loud lift. <laughs> oh, it's the last. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Oh. You gotta have like your feet. <laughs> your face has to shake a little bit. Like. Eat. <laughs> eat? Is that what you're saying? Eat. <laughs> I want to eat. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Just this last week, a story came out uh, where a trombonist wonders when people will hear his music again. Hey, look, on behalf of all trombonists, stop calling us trombonists. <laughs> you got a point there. I'm not a trombonist. I'm I got a name. <laughs> well, this was a little disturbing. Uh, this last week, Dr. Fauci announced that this fall, we will all have coronavirus again. Did you hear about this? Sure didn't. Yeah. And so uh, Target, they have changed their back to school campaign to back to quarantine. Oh. <laughs> but hey, we actually have good news. Dr. Fauci is wrong. We will not face the coronavirus this fall. Thank you, Kenneth Copeland. <laughs> you come down. You are destroyed to COVID-19. Now, the fuck is finished. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you hear that? Huh. <laughs> Run, run, Jeffrey, Jeffrey run! run. <laughs> Just this last week, an article was released um, helping people out, e equipping people with ways to survive the whole quarantine thing. And uh, so there were nine tips that were released, but we've actually added a tenth. That's right. We've added a, a tenth tip, if you will, to staying healthy and enduring this quarantine, this COVID epidemic. Yep, you could build your own home treadmill. Just this last week, Governor Inslee announced his plan to reopen Washington State. Did you hear about this, Pastor Anthony? No, I, I don't think I did. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And we all learned that Governor Inslee ain't much of a planner. <laughs> I know, I know. But the good news is, is that Governor Inslee uh, may loosen some of the stay-at-home restrictions. It's important to remember that that word loose in the Greek actually means noose, which can be translated uh, death by strangulation. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, we've got a great service today. It's such an honor to have so many people uh, watching uh, this morning. Melanie Antonucci's in the house today. She's going to be leading us into worship. And so let's go right now into a time of worship. 
with Melanie Antonucci here on Seattle Revival Center's Sunday morning service. <laughs> 